Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today, we're going to be playing through a game called Raising Robots. Yes, this game is designed by Brett Sobel as well as Seth Van Orden, and it's published by Navu Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are going to be taking on the roles of young inventors who are trying to craft and build robots mm -hmm. so that we can score the highest marks in class. That's right. This is a game for one to six players that is primarily a tableau builder, but also features simultaneous card play. And so today, we are going to start with a teach of the game and then go straight into our two-player playthrough. If you like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now we do need to mention that we are playing with the deluxe version of the game, which includes a pets expansion that has more inventors as well as more robots and upgraded tokens. Now we're not going to be including the expansion in our gameplay, but for more information regarding the game as well as the expansion, we've included a link to their website down below. Now, if you can all just a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any mistakes, we can add those corrections there. If we discover any mistakes, we'll also try to add them to the description as well. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Raising Robots. Welcome to Robot Class. Yes. <laughs> where we are going to be assembling robots as well as trying to earn the highest grades in class and even earn extra credit. Mm -hmm. Now, just to kind of give you the lay of the land, in the middle here, we have the main board that just serves to keep track of the rounds in the game as well as the various phases that we're going to be playing through each round. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, each player has their own player board. And so this is where the entire game is going to take place for each player. And like we we're mentioning, your main goal in this game is to build various robots onto your player board. And so before we continue, let's just go ahead and take a look at the anatomy of a robot card. Here we have Deke. Deke is a, uh, a hockey player robot of sorts. And at the top right hand corner of each robot card, it tells you how many points they're going to score you at the end of the game. And in this game, anytime you see these pink stars, those represent victory points. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to assemble a robot, you'll have to spend a combination of resources that is shown at the top left hand corner of the card. And usually it'll depict two different options for doing so. But that'll make more sense later. And once assembled, each robot provides you with a basic as well as an upgraded ability that you can can use during the phase that it activates. And so Deke is on my, uh, my fabricate row over here. Mm -hmm. Now the game is played over the course of eight rounds and each round players will have the option to play at least two of the five available phases per round. Now each player has a deck of energy cards and energy in this game is going to dictate what type of actions you can take when you resolve a phase. So then at the start of each round, we're just gonna draw the top two cards of our energy decks and then we're going to assign phase cards to them. So players have a separate uh, deck of cards that each represent the different phases in the game. This is all done Done simultaneously and when selecting your phase cards you're going to choose them in secret and once everybody's selected then you'll simultaneously reveal them. So let's just say I went ahead and chose these two cards. Now that everybody's chosen we will simultaneously reveal our phases. Now the one thing I didn't mention is anytime you have energy cards that show an energy symbol at the top you're going to place that many energy cubes on top of the card. And once you reveal your phases, then you're going to move the energy cube to the assigned phase, which in this case is going to be the design phase on the board. So for me, I have it on my card. And because I played the upgrade phase to it, we're going to put a cube there. That's right. And because we're playing a two player game, by the way, we are going to have a uh, sort of like a third player AI hand that just serves to place energy cubes onto uh, phase areas on the board. They're not going to be competing against us for the gameplay. And once that's done, then we move on to the round phases where we are going to start in the upgrade phase and resolve each phase up until recycle. But players are only allowed to resolve the phases that they've selected as well as any phase that they did not select that has an energy cube on it. And so in this example, I'm going to be able to resolve the upgrade phase as well as the design phase and the assemble phase because there happens to be an energy cube placed on it from a different player. And for me, I get to do four different phases. I get to do the upgrade, the assemble because the AI put a cube out, uh, the design phase because Monique put a cube out, and then the recycle phase, which is the one I played associated with this card. Mm -hmm. Lucky you, four yes, phases in four. one round. Mm -hmm. And so let's just go over each phase so that you have an idea as to what to expect, starting with the upgrade phase. Now, each time you resolve any of the five phases in the game, you always have to start by calculating your total energy because this is going to tell you what you can actually do during that phase. Mm -hmm. To calculate your energy, you add up the value that's on your energy card for that specific 
specific phase, which for me is going to be two, plus any energy cubes that are on that phase on the main board, regardless of who placed it there. So looking at Naveen's actually, he has four energy on his energy card, plus one more because of the cube on the upgrade phase here for a total of five. Yep. Now for me, because my card here has this energy cube equals two energy symbol at the top, that means any energy cubes that are in that phase on the board are actually worth two energy instead of one. So I would have a total of two plus two for this cube uh, for a total of four. Now each player has a total of 16 of these upgrade tokens sort of scattered throughout your player board. And this phase allows you to spend resources to remove any one of these tokens and either save it for later or use it to upgrade either a robot or your class card or your inventor, which we'll talk about later. Now, as you can see, each phase is represented by a menu of items that you can do depending on the energy cost. Because I have a total of four energy to spend during the upgrade phase, I can choose this uh, three energy row here, mm -hmm. which allows me to spend any three resources in order to do one upgrade. In addition, the upgrade phase as well as the assemble phase are both sort of unique in the sense that you can split your total energy, which means because I have a total energy of four, I can do both the second row as well as the top row, splitting my four energy into a three and a one. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, if I just wanted to do one upgrade, but I wanted to make it cheaper, I could spend batteries. So battery is a type of resource that allows you to increase your total energy for a specific phase. So I could spend one battery to increase my total energy to five instead and spend two resources to do one upgrade. But you always have to calculate your total energy first before starting to resolve the phase. Now, one thing to note about resources is we have an inventory section of our player board here that we're gonna be using to keep track of our resources. At the start of the game, we each start with three batteries as well as three duct tape. And duct tape serves as a wild for the other four different uh, resource types, which are going to be a uh, sensor, we have, I believe this is program, gears, and microchips. microchips. Anytime you see this symbol, that means a true wild, you can spend any of those four different types of resources or the duct tape, or you can even spend robot cards. And so that is what this represents uh, on your player board. And each player is going to start the game with three robot cards in hand, as well as two already built on your player board. Now we'll talk about the upgrades a little bit more again later, but just so you know, some basic concepts when upgrading is each phase has an area that you can upgrade that'll permanently increase the amount of total energy Energy that you can use when uh, resolving that phase. Other types of upgrade tokens will give you uh, better action types when resolving that phase. And so in this example design, if I were to resolve this phase with one energy, I would get a program as well as a battery mm -hmm. instead of just one program. And finally, anytime you upgrade the actual upgrade phase here, you'll gain what's called inspiration. And that is represented by this light bulb. Anytime you gain inspiration, you're gonna choose between one of these three things, either taking four battery or two of any wild. And again, wild also can include robot cards or drawing additional class cards. Now each player starts the game with one class card and this is essentially end game scoring. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about these more in detail uh, as we play the playthrough because there's a wide variety of these cards that you'll see, but they basically give you some sort of criteria that you're going to be counting in your player area. My class card here is software engineering and this wants me to have as many robot cards as possible that have a, uh, a program cost. And at the end of the game, depending on how many I actually have, I'll score a certain number of victory points. Now you can have at most three of these and another way to gain them is just by gaining inspiration. Mm -hmm. Next we have the assemble phase. And this is a phase that actually allows you to put more robot cards onto your player board. You're building robots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now referring back to Deke over here, in order to put a robot card into play, you'll have to either uh, turn in the resource combination from the left column or the right column. And each column is associated with a certain amount of total energy. And again, similar to the upgrade phase, you can split your total energy, which means if I go into the assemble phase with a total energy of six and I want to put both of these cards into play, I could do so, but I would have to spend the resources that are in the left column, which would be two uh, sensor, two program, three program, and two gears. So, so it's a, a lot more resources a lot. for fewer energy. 
if I had a lot of energy, say seven energy, then I could just put uh, this robot into play for two sensors. So as you can see, you're gonna want to try to mix and match depending on how much uh, energy and how many resources you have. But again, you can always use batteries to increase your total energy. And again, if you upgraded assemble over here, then you would get an extra two energy every single time you're taking this action. That's right. So it's really important. Mm -hmm. Now when putting your robot into play, each robot has to be assigned to a specific uh, row on your player board. It's both color coded as well as identifiable by a symbol at the top right hand corner. So this goes into my fabricate row. And starting with the second column, each additional robot requires you to spend more resources and that's gonna be uh, printed on your player board. Now these last three phases work exactly the same way. They just give you different things. So the design phase uh, specializes more in the, uh, the program resource type as well as allowing you to draw more robot cards. The fabricate phase gives you the other types of resources mm -hmm. and recycle uh, primarily gives you more batteries as well as duct tape. Now when resolving any of these three phases, unlike like upgrade and assemble, you cannot split your energy, which means if I go into the design phase with a total energy of four, I will only be able to resolve the top and the middle row in this menu here. And I'd have to do it in that order. You always resolve each phase from top to bottom, which means for the top row, I would gain one program resource. And then for the middle row here, this allows you to uh, discard any number of robot cards to gain more from the deck, the same number of cards that you discarded plus one. Mm -hmm. Now again, all of these tokens here are upgradable. And so if I had upgraded uh, this token and removed it, in addition to being able to do what it says here, I also gain a robot card and a battery. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna wanna take a look at the different uh, bonuses that you'll be able to get by upgrading in order to make your decisions as to which tokens to upgrade. And if you go into any of these phases with a maximum energy of seven, it'll always gain you a victory point, sometimes even more if you have that upgraded. Um, and unlike the other phases, because you cannot split your energy costs, there really is no reason to have more than seven energy for any of these three phases. Mm -hmm. Now, the last thing is when you're resolving these three phases, you also activate all of your robots from left to right for that specific phase. So for me, because I'm going to be able to resolve the design phase, I would also get to resolve Selfie <laughs> over here. <laughs> That's the name of this robot. Now, each robot has two different abilities at the bottom here. One basic ability that you'll be able to take if you meet the energy cost, which in Selfie's case here allows me to discard a robot card for three battery. In addition, they also have an upgraded ability, which if I was able to uh, to upgrade something on my board that lets me remove a blue token, anytime during the game, you can assign that token to a robot upgraded uh, action here, which will now give me the option to take that action instead of the basic one. And you'll be resolving every robot that's in that phase row. Now there are a wide variety of robots that come in the game. So we'll be talking about each robot uh, as they come about during our gameplay, but that's essentially how all three of these phases work. Now, one thing that I didn't mention is the entire round can be done simultaneously. So you can be doing your phases while other players are doing uh, different phases and you can sort of meet up at the end of the round. Because we are showcasing the game, we are going to be doing uh, each phase together. And at the end of each round, we'll do a bit of cleanup, which basically has us remove all of the energy cubes from the main board the phase cards will go back into our hands. So you will always have the ability to choose from all five phases each round, but the energy cards will stay. So next round, you're just gonna draw the next two cards from your deck and you'll be you'll have to uh, basically assign uh, phase cards to these specific ones. Mm -hmm. Each player also has a unique inventor that we'll be going over before we start the gameplay that sometimes gives you some sort of bonus or ability that happens at the end of the round. And at the end of the fourth round, we are going to reshuffle our entire deck of energy cards. Mm -hmm. So that's the only time that those will reset. At that point, we will also gain another class card. So each player will have at least two class cards at the end of the game. And at the end of the eighth round, we'll go into final scoring. You'll score the base number of points on all of your robot cards on your board. In addition, there are many ways to earn victory points throughout the game, including the seven energy threshold of these three phases. And anytime you earn those points, you're going to move your marker in your inventory track. So you'll also end the game with a certain number of points. And of course, each player will score their class cards. Now, one thing that I didn't mention about the class cards is these are also upgradable. 
And so each class card shows a specific token that you'll need to place there in order to upgrade it. And basically at the end of the game, if you're able to do so, you gain extra credit, which means if my threshold was actually at a C because I only met this criteria by having four of these things, mm -hmm. I actually score the points for a B, which would be nine points instead of five. Well, extra credit. Yes. And finally, all of your leftover resources are divided by three. And at that point, whoever has the most points wins. So that is essentially how you play Raising Robots. We will just get cleaned up and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we are ready to go. We've reset everything. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no real going first because it's all simultaneous. That's but right. We do have to introduce our asymmetric characters. Yes, I actually swapped out my inventor as mm -hmm. well as my robot. So if you join me for the teach, things might look a little bit different. And so today, I'm going to be playing as Florence. Florence oh, yes. is my young inventor. Well, Nightingale. And that's right. And my ability here is at the end of the round, I get to activate the ability of a robot that I did not activate that round. Mm -hmm. And I get to ignore its energy costs. And if that robot is up, upgraded, then I get to do the upgraded ability if I'd like to. Yep. Now, uh, I'm not sure if we mentioned this during the teach, but you can upgrade your inventor as well. So Florence would require me to place a blue token uh, to upgrade uh, them. And if so, then I'll be able to activate two different robots instead of just one. But again, it has to be robots that I did not activate that round. Mm -hmm. I also start uh, with, we each start with two robots on our player boards already. And so I have Beaker, <laughs> who is a design robot. Okay. And Beaker will get me uh, one or two sensor resources. And I also have Java. And Java gets me batteries. Mm -hmm. Now, my class card that I'm starting with is Thermodynamics. And this wants me to have uh, the pink tokens upgraded. Okay. And if I have all four of them upgraded, that'll get me a B. Anytime you have a class card that has this up arrow here, that means you're required to uh, place an upgrade token here for extra credit in order to get the A grade mm -hmm. at the end of the game. So that's me. Okay, so I am going to be playing as Yo-Yo, the celloist. Uh-huh, the cellist? Ch uh, cellist, yes, yeah. cellist, who plays the cello. <laughs> <laughs> um, my uh, special abilities, I actually start with two extra duct tape. Mm -hmm. So instead of three, I actually have five. Uh, and then the ability of Yo-Yo is these all all these upgrade tokens, they act like wilds. So you see how here there's like that pink piggy bank? I could technically take a green and place it on there. Oh, nice. But I am not allowed to do that for um, for these class cards or for any cards that like something like this. If I say like have four upgraded pinks, yeah. I cannot say, oh, these three oh, any blues. Four. It, is, has yeah. still, it still has to be the pink uh, pig symbol. Exactly, yeah. So okay. um, if I do upgrade yo-yo, then anytime I take the upgrade action, I'm going to gain a battery and two victory points. Nice. So I'm going to want to do that ASAP. As for my robots, I have Marco down here, who is going to give me either one or two uh, duct tape. Nice. And then we have Donatello, who is going to get me <laughs> one card and two energy or battery, or one card and two battery for cheaper. Ah. Uh, so I'm going to want to upgrade that for sure. And finally, my class card here is for sustainable energy. Uh -huh. uh, essentially, what it wants me to do is build out a bunch of robots that have a one energy cost on all of them. Ah, so, sustainable. Sustainable. A yeah, one energy exactly. option, option, I guess, right? So I have two towards the six that I really want to get to. Nice. So, and the minimum is you three. So you just need one more. Yep. Now, one last very important detail. Uh, and by the way, we are speaking to you from the future as evidenced by Naveen's haircut. Cut it. Change it. And it is that we missed one detail during setup that mm. is quite important. And it is that all players start the game with one free upgrade. Yeah. So the implication of this is basically in our gameplay that you're about to watch, uh, our engines are going to be a little bit slower than they ideally should have been. Uh, sometimes these upgrades can either enhance a robot that you have in play or also give you an extra ability whenever you take a specific action. So just be aware of that as you watch the playthrough. Ideally, we should have ended the game with a couple more robots in play. So big apologies for that and make sure that you take your free upgrade when setting up when you play the game. Mm -hmm. All right, now back to the playthrough. All right, and I think we are ready to begin. Are you ready? Yes. All right, round one, here we go. So we are going to first uh, start by drawing our energy cards. So right. these were shuffled. Uh, oh, are you shuffling them I'm again? I'm shuffling them now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> shuffle them once, yeah, shuffle them on. These are truly shuffled. True shuffling. And then, of course, yeah, we are nice going to draw cut. two energy cards. It's two energy cards per round. Oh, no, mine okay. are identical. Oh, three, and four. Ooh. They don't add any cubes. That means, oh, man, I don't want to help you. Yeah, you add yeah. two cubes I to add something. two cubes to this one. So if I can try to guess what phase that is, that'll add four energy to whatever phase that is. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. So now let's go ahead and choose the phases that we are going to be taking during the round. And again, we are only going to be taking minimum two of them, mm -hmm. plus any phases that we place cubes on, as you'll see. All right, I think I'm going to do these two phases. And these two. So that's for the round. Ready? 
To reveal? Uh, let's do it. One, two, three. Reveal. So I'm doing upgrade and fabricate. What are you oh, doing? Oh, yes. Fabricate nice. and recycle. So mine were identical. Okay. I didn't really have a choice there. But since you chose fabricate, those two energy cubes are going to get placed on onto fabricate, the fabricate. Which uh, is going to be 2x for you. Yes. And since we are playing a two-player game, we also have a third uh, AI hand here that's just going to serve as placing out more energy cubes. Mm -hmm. So the way that this works is each round, we're just going to reveal one. Next round, we're going to reveal the next one. And it's going to put out two more cubes. And mm -hmm. basically, at the end of that round, we shuffle these and deal out another five, uh, revealing the first two. Yeah. So we basically reset it every other round, if that makes sense. Yeah, so the purpose of these two is to kind of give us an idea as to what uh, these are not going to right. be. Right, yeah. what they're not choosing. Right. So let's see what it's going to be for this first round. Upgrade. Nice. Oh, oh my gosh. No. I hit the lotto. <laughs> I was gambling that it wasn't going to be upgrade. Now, oh, shoot. it's great for me because uh, each of those cubes are going to be worth two energy instead of just one. But I only get to activate two phases uh, this round yep. because those are the only two phases that have energy cubes on them. All right. Shall we move on to the round phases? Uh, yes. All right. Starting with the upgrade phase. Upgrade. And it looks like uh, we both will have the ability to do it. It's going to be very since expensive. Since Naveen did not choose the upgrade phase, uh, but the AI hand added an energy cube here, Naveen will still be able to do it at the total energy of one. <laughs> Which is really bad, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and start by doing my upgrade phase here. Okay. And so to calculate my total energy, for the upgrade phase, I have this uh, base value of two energy here, plus any cubes that are on the upgrade area of the board. And for me, they're going to be worth two energy each. So that's a total of two plus two is four. Yep. Now with that energy, I could do the three energy threshold and spend three resources to do an upgrade. I could even do both of these, uh, but that's quite expensive. <laughs> I don't have any resources. So I'm actually going to spend a battery to bump my total energy up to five and do this threshold here, which is, which is just spending two resources to do one upgrade. Okay. So I think I'm going to spend one duct tape and one of my robot cards because I don't necessarily know that I'm going to be able to put this into play. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and discard it. So that's your spending that as yes. your second resource? as my second wild resource. Now I can choose an upgrade from my board, and my class card wants me to collect those pink tokens. Mm -hmm. And seeing as uh, I am going to activate the fabricate phase, I guess I might as well take this off yep. and give myself a permanent one energy each time I take that phase. Now with this token, I can place it into my, into my inventory and save it for later. But I have this robot here that requires a pink token in order to upgrade it. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it directly onto Java. So now, in order to get the two batteries uh, when activating Java, I only need one energy. Gotcha. And that's about it for my upgrade phase. I am all out of energy. So would you like to do it? Oh, boy. So uh, <laughs> I only have uh, one value here because there's only one cube. Yeah. Um, so it's going to cost me two batteries. So that will get me down to one. And we still have Fabricate and Recycle to go through. Now, you're not required to activate the phase. You can choose to pass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the batteries. I'm going to make this one uh, value that I have into a three value. Okay. This is going to cost me three total resources. So I'm going to be spending two uh, duct tape. Okay. And then I'm going to get rid of a card okay. to represent the third. Nice. I want to take as many actions in this game as possible. Yes. Um, so I'm going to do this. Seems like the name of the game. Yeah. And knowing that I'm going to get into Fabricate here, I kind of like what's underneath this. This basically allows me, uh, whenever I take this action, if, as long as I have four energy, uh -huh. to get an extra uh, microchip or sensor. So yeah, that's like pretty nice. That off. Knowing that we're going to go into Recycle, I'm just going to go ahead and put this right on top of Recycle. Ah. Even though I'm yo-yo and I don't technically have to put blue on blue, it yeah. just happens to work out this way. Okay. Uh, because I do want that ability. So you've right upgraded there. Marco. I have, yes. So now I only have one battery, though. So that's me. I'm done. All right, so that's it for the upgrade phase. We now move to assemble, but nobody is taking that phase, so yeah. we're going to skip it entirely and move straight to design, which we are also skipping because yep. nobody chose it, mm -hmm. and then move directly to fabricate. fabricate. Now, again, all of this can be done simultaneously, but I think just for demonstration purposes, I'm always going to go first, and then we'll yep. sort of move like this. Sounds right. All right, for my fabricate phase, I have a total of two plus... These are also worth two each because of the top of my card. So it's two, four, six, plus one. Seven. Because I have upgraded this. So I now have a total of seven energy to spend in Fabricate. 
Now, I was kind of alluding to this during the uh, the teach, but you cannot split costs because when you do the upgrade phase, if I had uh, four, you could do the top row four times if mm -hmm. you had enough resources. But because you can't do that, I'm basically just going to take each benefit once in mm -hmm. order from top to bottom until I meet my total energy threshold, which in this case is seven. Yeah, you're not spending this like currency. Right. It's not like you have a total of seven to spend. So it's just a threshold. It, exactly. Yes. So starting at the top, I can either get a chip or a gear. Now, looking at my row about cards, I think I'm going to want a gear. So this is my first gear <laughs> in the game. Yeah. Uh, next, I can choose between a gear or a sensor. I'm going to go for another gear. And finally, uh, the seven point threshold gets me a point. So I'm on the map. On I have board. my first point, <laughs> my first point in the game. Seems pretty good. And now I'm going to activate my robot because you activate all of them in the row from left to right. So Java gets me a uh, two battery. Now, the only difference between <laughs> these two abilities is the energy cost. The threshold, yeah. The threshold. Uh, not that it matters because I have a total of seven. So I'm just going to gain two batteries okay. from Java's ability. So now we remember Florence uh, gets to activate one robot. Yes. That was not activated. So then you have to just remember... Java Boom. has been activated once. Java's been activated, so. Okay, very good. Um, that's way better than any, than what I'm going to be doing. So uh, <laughs> I have a four, okay. five, six. Yeah. I can't justify a battery, unfortunately, to get this one point because I need batteries here, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So uh, I'm going to take this top one. I'm going to be taking a chip. Okay. And then uh, the bottom one, I'm going to take two sensors. This one plus the upgraded sensor. Nice. So now I have two of those. Very good. Uh, I will not be getting a star because I'm one short. All right. That is it for the fabricate phase. Finally, we end with recycle. Mm -hmm. Now, I think you are the only one who can resolve this phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go for it. Okay. So I have a total of three. There's no uh, modifiers on the board mm -hmm. because unfortunately the AI played it early. Yes. Uh, so I have three. I do definitely want to spend a battery. So I am off the board on batteries. But the good thing is the very first thing I get is? is two batteries. Nice. Uh, then I can turn in one battery for a duct tape, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'd like to hang on to my batteries. Okay. And then because I have four, my upgraded Marco here is going to get me two duct tape. One, two. Nice. So that is why you spent the battery. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because I was kind of wondering. Like, <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. It was to get the to the energy threshold that Marco required. Exactly. So instead of spending one for one, yeah. I'm spending one for two. All right. So then that is the end of the round. Yep. We are going to do some end of round steps, which starts with any end of round abilities that your inventor may have. So Florence again allows me to activate a different robot that I did not activate, which would only be uh, Beaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beaker's funny. So uh, I did not upgrade Beaker, which means I only get the basic ability which is one sensor. Nice. Hey, that's great. It's good <laughs> and by the way, one thing that we didn't mention is in order for us to upgrade our inventors, there is a little requirement there. Um, ours are both different. Mm -hmm. Mine requires me to have uh, done three upgrades so before you're one, I can upgrade. So one third of the way there. Right. Uh, mine says in order to actually put a token on this, uh -huh. I have to have four cards in my tableau. Mm. Uh, so I'm halfway there. Yeah. Because the game gave me two. That's right. All right, let's go ahead and do some cleanup. So sure. these are going to get removed from the main board. You technically discard your energy cards, but I think we'll just flip them over. Yeah, sure. Right, so that we know, we can kind of keep track use and of where to place our, uh, our energy cards. And yep. then go ahead and take your phase cards back because sure. again, you always choose from the full five mm -hmm. each round. So now we move the round marker to round number two. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we are in the second round. So we are going to put out two new energy cards along with our phase cards. That's right. That was a so full round. That was. So we can explain a little bit less. I hope it makes sense how a, a full round works. Mm -hmm. But here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So okay. two new energy cards. Okay, we got three. Wow. I have a three, three and a three and one. one. I'm not putting out any any energy cubes this round. So, so good luck. Anybody's curious, there is only one one energy uh, mm -hmm. card out there. Specifically in our, deck. in our deck. Now there are four more cards that we removed from the deck mm -hmm. uh, because it's dependent on player count. Right. And all the player count numbers are at the bottom of each card. Mm -hmm. And this round, the AI is gonna put out two cubes. Yeah. All we know is it's not gonna be on upgrade, recycle, or fabricate. So there's a 50-50 guess here. It's either design or assemble. Right. <laughs> I really want it to be one of the two. Are we ready to assemble? I, Are you ready to assemble? To assemble? Oh my gosh. I oh, don't oh, know oh. if I'm ready for that. All right, ready? I am ready. These are my two cards. One, two, three. Assemble and upgrade. Oh, me too. Oh, you too. Oh, that's great because you're adding one energy I am. Uh, to each phase. Yeah. Let's see what the AI is to doing. Assemble. What do you got? Assemble. assemble. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, this is fantastic. Dang it. <laughs> 
I shouldn't have played it. That's nice, but those Ooh. are the only two okay. phases there you go. that we are both resolving. Oh. This is going to be a very quick round. Dang. Okay. Okay, I'm going to remove this, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, so shall we go ahead and start with the upgrade phase? Uh, yes, we are in upgrade. So I have a total of three plus one. So that's four. Ugh. Do I spend a battery? That is the question. If I do, I can add plus two total energy to my assemble phase. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing as I'll be able to activate Java at the end of the round, potentially, I am going to spend one battery. Yeah. So I'm going to spend a battery to bring that total to five. Okay. Right? Because three, four, and then the battery five. to turn it into five. And you can use the arrows to kind of keep track of that if you need to. So then I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the upgrade phase for inspiration. So I'm going to remove the orange token. And to do this, I have to spend two resources. So I think I'll spend a sensor. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a hard decision. A sensor and a gear. Yeah. Don't want to spend the duct tape, right? Yeah, because duct that's tape wild. Be anything. Yeah. Yes. Any of these four, at least. This is going to go into my inventory. So I'll be able to put that out uh, whenever I have the opportunity to. I actually could put that in my class card now and uh, have extra credit, but I think I'll save it for a robot. And so for my inspiration bonus, I get to choose between these three things. And I think since we're doing the assemble phase, I'm going to choose two resources. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to make them both the program resource. All right. That's it. I've used all five of my total yes, energy. Yes, you need the program the resource phase. to assemble. I do. Okay. That is right. Okay. So my total upgrade is five. I'm mm -hmm. not going to spend any batteries. I will take it for it's five. So I'm going to have to spend two resources. And honestly, I have all this duct tape. I'm just going to go one, two, just like that, uh, so that I can upgrade. So for me, <laughs> it's, oh man, what a, the funny thing is, like, assemble, I yeah. could technically take this off and then... Because I have more. three, four, five, six. I don't need more than that. Seven, eight. I, I mean, if yeah. you wanted to build more than one robot, you, you can split the energy cost for the robots. But you'd have to have a lot of resources. You have to have a lot of resources, yeah. So I feel like design is going to be something that I'm going to want to have done uh, soon. So I'm going to upgrade this one here. Okay. So what that basically does is every time I draw cards, I draw an extra one and I get an extra battery. That's nice. And I'm just going to, even though I'm not using Yo-Yo's uh, <laughs> abilities to my you know best because I'm putting pink on pink and blue on blue. Uh-huh. Um, but I would like to unlock this because this other one costs seven energy anytime we take design. I'd like to do it for three. Nice. So that's now unlocked. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's it for my upgrading. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the assemble phase. Okay. And my total uh, energy here is one plus six because two, four, six. Wow. So that's a total of seven. seven. I really don't need all that energy because I'm only putting one robot into play. Okay. I don't have many resources. So... I'm going to put a uh, Brinner into play. This is a fabricate row type Ooh, robot. Okay. And I have two options. I can do it at a total energy of two or six. I'm definitely doing the six energy because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. And that cost is only a two program. Two so purple. it's a two yep. program that I got from earlier. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and place it here. Now this column does require me to spend one additional resource. So I think... I think it's going to have to be gear. It could right? be your card also. I, it could be my it could card, be card, but it's my last robot card. And I'm thinking I might put it, I might try to put it into play later. Uh, At some point. I'm afraid of being completely Cardless. out of robot cards. Sure. So I will go with that one. Okay. Um, and now that I put Brenner into play, I'm going to go ahead and place my upgrade token on it because it's orange and orange. So instead of getting a sensor with one energy, I can gain two points. Yeah, and it's your choice. So yeah. if, if you find the need that, like, no, I actually want the sensor, yeah. you can um, you can take that over the upgrade. That's true. And look at Brenner. <laughs> Brenner is, what are they? Is that cereal? No, they're like a yeah, cereal maker or something. <laughs> it's a cereal robot. Yeah. I would have one of these at, in my house for sure. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm going to assemble Nugget for a total value. So I have three plus uh, another three, so that's six. Okay. This is a five, so it's going to cost me three sensors. Ooh. I don't have three sensors, but I have one and two duct tape. Very so good. that's going to be that. Uh, so now this one is going to go into play right here. Uh, this is going to be a very expensive thing, but I think every time I fabricate, if I can make this a six, yeah. that'll be very nice for me. Yeah, one gear and two duct tape. One gear and two it's duct nice. tape, yeah. Three resources, boom, boom, every Exactly, time. and uh, something to, uh, to keep in mind of, remember my, my class card wants me to have cards uh, or robots out there that mm -hmm. cost one 
energy. Yeah. And so I do. So I am getting a D currently. Wow. So I am scoring this. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. Plus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But working on it. Working on it. Right, right. Know, we just started. Well, I'm not even on the, <laughs> I'm not even yeah. having any grades right now. So so these arrows kind of help uh, everybody just kind of keep track as to where, where I am on that. So right now I'm getting a D. Nice. But also now I am one card shy of uh, Yo-Yo's ability to upgrade. So that'll be nice. So I just need to get one more card out and play. Very good. So I do have some leftover energy that I could technically play, but it's very expensive for the card. So I'm just not going to do that. All right, yep. so that is the end of the assemble phase. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe that's the end of the round because yeah. neither of us played any other phase cards and there are no energy cubes in those phases. I was hoping they were going to play design. So we're going around. We're not doing very yeah. well. I really wanted them to play design. At guessing where they're going. <laughs> yeah. uh, you kind of want to zag because you want to be able to do uh, as many phases as possible. So we're going to work on that for the next round. Sure. Now we're at the end of the round. I can activate a robot that I did not, which is really any of these three. Oh my goodness, I have cereal and coffee. That's <laughs> your breakfast line. I have, this is morning. I have my, my breakfast crew right here. So anyway, I think I'll just activate Brinner since I did upgrade them and that'll just get me two points. You can take points. I'm taking the points. I really should be taking the resources, but I'm feeling a little greedy. <laughs> you're, you're, you All right, points. that is the end of the phase. Mm -hmm. End of the round, end sorry. The round. So let's go ahead and clean this up. And we are going to flip over our energy cards. Yeah, these go down. Because these so... are done. I am not card counting, uh -uh. by the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. More experienced players yeah. would probably uh, be doing that. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's not me <laughs> in this moment. Yeah. All right. Shall we move into round three? three? Yeah. And now we're going to have to reset the AI cards. So let's go ahead and take these and we're going to shuffle them up. So going into this round, I'm going to do my best to try to choose different phases i was try to i was hoping for i was hoping is... that the first round they would not upgrade they upgraded uh and then i was hoping that they would design on the last one mm -hmm. they did design so but the other thing though is <laughs> all of my energy cards that do not uh contribute energy cubes yes i've already played which means you i am have. going to be the one providing additional phases Correct. for you <laughs> so these two get shown okay all right there we go upgrade and fabricate, fabricate. So oh. not... all right it's kind of Hmm. Well, they put one energy cube out this round and they then do. two on the next. Yeah, All right. To shall upgrade. we shall yeah. we choose or draw? Draw, yep. Two okay. and my one. Uh, oh, boy. Here we go. Naveen, this oh, is so good is... for you. I'm putting no, out no, one. No, no, no. This is bad. Oh, yeah. And two. Why is this bad? This is great for you. Well, not like if that. I pick the wrong ones. If I pick the wrong ones and, and, and I have nothing on, Yes. you know, then it's really bad. That is the challenge. You got to pick the right ones. <laughs> All right, ready? Ah, uh, ready. I what? don't like this pull. One, two, three. Fabricate. Ah, oh, you're upgrading, of course. Of course. I'm upgrading course, and fabricating. Yes. Uh, yes. I don't know if it's the right decision. Fabricating, I needed see. you to do. Young inventors are uh, not experts yet. Come on, see what the design. AI is doing. Design. Oh, I that's like nice. design. Design is good. It's a nice All surprise. Right. All right, are you happy? I mean, <laughs> not really, but, you know, I'll make it work, I think. All right, shall we start? Yes. Let's go into upgrade. So, yeah. um, it's just too expensive. Yeah, that's going to be only one for you. No, it's not happening. For me, it's three plus one is four. I think I'm going to have to spend a battery and just use two resources. I am super draining <laughs> all of my resources, but I will spend the one battery. So it's going to be at a threshold of five, and I'm going to spend two resources, which will be both of my duct tape. Uh, to do one upgrade. Sure. Now, since I have Beaker over here, Beaker needs me to put a blue upgrade token on them. I could do this one since I am going to be resolving the Fabricate phase, or I could do this one and that'll get me a battery. <gasps> mm. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to go with this one okay. because I am in dire need of resources. So I'm taking this and I'm going to upgrade Beaker with it. So Ooh. maybe, maybe at the end of the round, I'll get two uh, sensors for them. Yikes. I'm assuming you're not doing... I, I can't, phase. yeah. No, you have can't. to spend four, yeah. four resources. When I, when I saw this come out, I was like, no. <laughs> no. Okay, so that is just it, what it is. I'm, I'm not going to be doing it. Okay, well, we are going to skip assemble and go into design. design yeah. So both of us can do design at one total energy. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to uh, do the one energy as is because I'm running out of batteries. So, and even if I did spend batteries, I couldn't get to four anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna just do this top which is just getting me one program okay. for one total energy. And you? Okay, this might seem kind of silly, uh, but okay. I'm going to spend it no down judgments. to get to three 
Okay. You might be like, what the heck, three? It's because Donatello is an upgrade of at three energy. Uh, so okay. I'm basically going to get the two back, but I get to at least draw a card. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Because if I just left it at one, I would still get this one resource, which is going to be one program, but yep. I wouldn't get to tap into this card here. Right. So I'm going to get a card, uh -huh. uh, top deck it, and then I also get the two battery back that I spent to get there. Does that that is sense? completely valid yeah. because the design phase is the primary way that you can draw more cards. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are other ways, such as when you uh, when you upgrade the upgrade phase here and you, you get inspiration. When you're taking the wild, you can draw cards. Right. All right, so then we are going to move on to fabricate, fabricate. which we are both going to be able to do. Mm -hmm. I have four plus two, so that's a total of six plus one. So seven total energy here. So I'm going to go ahead and run the fabricate phase. Oh my goodness, do I need gear or microchips? Ugh, I don't need either of those. Uh -huh. Let's just go with microchips. Kay. I don't think I have, I've, I've received any chips yet. Kay. So that's that. The next threshold is uh, these two options. I'm gonna go with two sensors. So I do need sensors in my future. And then finally I get one victory point for the seven energy threshold. Right. Now I'm going to activate my robots. So Java, I get two batteries, Kay. so that's nice. And then Brinner, I can choose between one sensor or two victory points. I think I'm gonna go with the two victory points. I'm just gonna try to hit that as hard as I can. Yeah, because you know with Florence's ability, you're already gonna get two sensors. Yeah, is... that's true. Because I was able to upgrade Beaker. Yikes. So that was kind of the timing on that. Yikes, yes. All right, that is it for my fabricate phase. And you? Okay, so I have two, uh, plus these are two X on those cubes. So I have a total of six. Uh, I'm gonna make it, I think I'm gonna make it a seven. Oh, okay. I'd like to get on the board. <laughs> so I'm willing to spend one battery for one for point, point because at the very end of the game, it's three to one. Three, three yes. of everything to one, so I'm getting That's one true. to one right now. Might yeah. as well get it now. So uh, I have a total of seven, so I'm going to take a chip okay. for my first one. Uh, here, I'm going to take a gear, and then with my uh, upgraded ability, I'm going to get another chip. And then because I have at least a six here, uh -huh. I wish I had this upgraded because that would be a two duct tape. I don't get two duct tape, but... I do get, uh, Nugget does get me two Wait, gears. what is your total energy? Seven. Oh, then you get Oh, let me get the point. Yeah, I'm sorry, point. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. That's the important part. That's why I part. did that. And then yeah. now I get the uh, two gears. So then we go to three. Nice. So I have some stuff. Very good, yeah. yeah. You have a nice little uh, combination of smorgasbord. <laughs> I can't say the word. Smorgasbord, Board. maybe? All right. Anywho, that is it for Fabricate. <laughs> yes. Shall we end with Recycle? Yes, you are the only one who can do this phase, so go This is it. where I was really, like, I was excruciating because, like, I really wanted it to go where there was going to be cubes to get a 2x. Ah. I basically wasted that card, but I, I couldn't figure out when and, you know, which one was it going to be. So I'm going to get one, which is going to be just two batteries. So I gain two batteries. Now, I cannot ping pong this. I cannot say, oh, now that I got the two batteries, I can go and, you know. Right. You have to you have to proclaim your total energy before activating the phase. Right. But the question is, you have Marco here, who you can activate at two. At two energy. Oh, beforehand? So beforehand. At, so at the one, yeah. say, spend one. So going one. back to the beginning of the phase... I, yeah, I see what you're saying. So say one, make it a two by yeah. spending this, uh -huh. getting the two back, right. and getting a duct tape. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. All right, let's do it. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Kind of like what I did with uh, with uh, Donatello over right. here. Okay. I hope that made sense. Yeah. You, you, Naveen basically increased his energy to two total energy because yeah. he was going to get the battery anyway. I was going to get the battery anyway. So that you and can get the duct spend, tape. Yeah, okay. Or not spend, but have at least access to duct tape, which is a wild resource. So. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Yeah. Duct tape is great. Yeah. It's, uh, it's probably every it's... inventor's primary tool, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? <laughs> In our class, yes. Yes. All right, that is the end of the round. A quick round. Ooh, so... Boy. Florence. Okay, I activated both of these robots, which means I can only activate Beaker. So would you like one or two sensors? <laughs> I think I'm going to take two sensors. Play. Um, but that's it. So let's go ahead and reset. Yep. So and flip over your energy cards. Right. Take back your face cards. So these are going to be the, the last two? Yes, yeah, so right. these are the last two before we we reset our energy card, which is great because I, I wasn't too happy with the way that that, <laughs> that sort of played yeah. out for me. So let's All go right. ahead and move into four. round four and then reveal your final them. two. Three and two. Yeah. Okay. Can I have uh, so two I'm, cubes, please? Oh, you're going to be contributing two. I'm contributing two, That's but so now the question is where. Nice. How refreshing. I know. So two on Ooh. this card. All right. Let's go ahead and choose our phase. Yeah. So they're going to be able to do either recycle. Uh-huh. 
or assemble. Because they're not doing these two. So it's a 50-50 between oh, recycle and assemble. Come on. Uh, I do need to start assembling more robots. It's true. That is the name of the game. You want to make robots <laughs> uh, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, in this game. Yep. All right, ready? I'm ready. I am taking a huge risk. Okay. <laughs> ready? One, yeah. two, three. Upgrade. Deal. Assemble. I'm doing oh, upgrade and design. Oh, you're upgrading also. I am. So that means a lot of di uh, cubes are a going into. A lot of cubes are going yeah. in. That's actually kind of nice. Um, nice. Oh, you need a second. Oh, no. My. Uh, Your I design is going to give me work. some design. Please, please be. Recycle. Assemble. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. I, I still don't recycle. know if I'll have enough uh, <laughs> energy though to be able to assemble my robot. Okay. Ah, okay. This is actually not too bad because this round mm -hmm. um, I'll be able to do three phases. Never mind. I thought it was four. Okay. <laughs> three is still good though. Yeah. All right. Shall we? Uh, yes. Starting with the upgrade Great. phase. Okay. So I have a total of four Five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, that's great because I can do multiple upgrades. I do have a few more resources. I have a total of four, five, six mm -hmm. resources. Oh no, I just realized that I cannot upgrade and put my robot card into play. Most because, excellent. Huh? Most excellent. Because Oof. my robot card is <laughs> another fabricate row card, which would require me to spend another two resources. Yeah. And with the combination that I have, I couldn't even upgrade one and then... I would need to have a total of six total energy for assemble. And right oh. now it's only going to be two. two. If I upgrade this, that would be four. I would have to spend two more batteries. But again, I still wouldn't have enough resources to be able to do the upgrade and the assemble. Yeah, it gets so expensive. I guess I will just forego the assembling and focusing on up, focus on upgrading. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one battery, actually, to increase that to eight. So let's okay. go ahead and do this. So that I can do two different upgrades, a five and a three, for a total of five resources. Okay, which is technically the same thing as a seven and a one for five resources. Yes. Sounds nicer if you say it's seven and That is and true. One. Seven and a one, <laughs> five and a three, whatever combination <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you'd like. Well, seeing as I'm going to be able to activate the design phase, and I would like to upgrade my inventor, because now I have at least three upgrades on the board, I, I can do this. I need to unlock a blue upgrade token. So I could do that and gain a, a battery. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start with the, what did we say? Uh, the five and the three? Sure. Okay. So Same I'll spend difference. two resources. I guess I'll just spend these two. Okay. And uh, I'll unlock the blue upgrade token and I'll place it directly onto my inventor. So now at the end of the round, I can activate two different robots that I did not activate that round. So I did the five total energy, which means I have three more and that threshold requires me to spend three resources, which I guess will be my sensors, the only resource I have left. That's the only thing so you So I can. go down to one. Okay. And I'm also going to... you will to, not be assembling, I see. I'm not okay. going to assemble yeah. because I think I was just one resource short of greatness. <laughs> Good. So um, I'm going to do You're this because this will gain me an additional robot card and a battery. Yeah, that's I'm good. definitely going to want to flush my hand, I think. And I do need these pink tokens. So I'm just going to put this in my inventory for now. And now I have, uh, I've upgraded two of my four pink tokens, which means I am currently earning a D mm. on my class card. Mm -hmm. So that's it. It seems pretty good, whatever you've done there. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I have a decision to make. I have, uh, what is it, three, four, five, six. Do I spend a battery to save a resource? Ooh. You know? That's a tough call. That's such a tough call. The upgrade phase is tough to math out because you can do the same yeah. role multiple times. You just yeah. have to sort of figure out the, the resource uh, management there. Because we're going into assemble, I have two, three, four, five, six based off this card. Also, depending on what you choose to upgrade, you can gain two resources right back. I know. So that's sort of the math on that. Yeah. So knowing that we are going to get design and I'm going to get a two value by that being there, uh -huh. I, I'm only going to uh, do the five right now. Okay. I'm going to give up two resources. So I'm going to give up my uh, purple program, one of my microchips. Okay. Uh, and then so now I'm going to upgrade one and I'm going to upgrade this blue one that comes off of design. That way I can get a battery back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to place this uh, and I'm finally going to use Yo-Yo's ability. I'm going to place <laughs> this on uh, this location here so that eventually when I do Fabricate, I can get uh, some duct tape. On Nugget. A nu they on have Nugget. Names. <laughs> yeah. Uh. They mean. Nugget, they look at Nugget identities. holding a, uh, a gem. These robots. In their hand, yeah. <laughs> so I did that, uh, and that is going to be my upgrade. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and move on to assemble. assemble. Now I am going to forgo this entire phase. So it's just you. Okay, so you're forgoing. So my total assemble is two, four, five, six. Uh, so so if I was to spend a battery to be able to put out both of these cards into play, yeah. it's gonna basically wipe me out of my resources and I don't really like the effect on one of these cards. Oh, okay. So I will not spend a battery. So my total is gonna be six. I am just gonna play out this one. Uh, wakey, wakey. It looks wakey. like an alarm. You got a little trumpet here. We need this. And uh, we need this for ourselves. We need to make a little, this uh, rattle. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. To bother us. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this one is going to be uh, at the value of five, not the value of one. So it's going to cost me two chips. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be one of those, one duct tape. Uh, so nice. now this one's going to go into play. Now because it is uh, in my second uh, column here, it's going to cost me another resource. It's going to have to be my gear. And now I have something in play Wakey, here. wakey. Wakey, wakey. Very good. Now I am eligible because I have one, two, three, four cards in play. Also, they all have at least a one energy cost. So now I am a C student. Oh, nice. I'm working my way up. But as you were saying, you are now eligible to upgrade Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo can now be upgraded. Yeah, nice. which is going to be uh, something I'm really going to want to do so that every upgrade going forward yeah. is going to get me a battery and two points. That's great. I would love to get as many points as possible in this yeah. game. Yeah, you're running out of time. The point in of round the game four. is to score. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right, done? That's me. All right, let's go ahead and move on to design. Okay. So uh, we can both activate this phase, which mm -hmm. is nice. I have a total of three, four, five. Uh, energy. So I'm going to spend two batteries, okay. six, seven, to make that a total of seven. So I'm going to do everything that I can, basically. So starting with the top row, I gain one program and battery. one battery back. Yep. I then get to finally get some robot cards. So I wasn't able to build this. I'm just going to discard it. Okay. So I'm discarding one, and then I get to draw uh, two because it's X plus one. In plus addition to these, one, yeah. I upgraded that. So I get another card and another battery that is so nice i'm glad that i upgraded that yeah, that's good and then i get a point so there's yeah. that Points. and finally beaker over here i'm now going to remember that i'm activating beaker um i get two sensors because it is an upgraded robot they mm -hmm. are upgraded oops the other side of the token is a plus 10 so if you accumulate more than you 10 somehow do yeah then you flip it over so it's be cautious not to do that okay that's me Okay, so uh, I'm in design. I have two here. I'm going to spend the two batteries to make it three, four. So now I, I do unlock this. So I get my one program. I get a battery back. Mm -hmm. uh, I, too, am going to do this thing. Uh, so I'm going to discard my card here and then draw up uh, one plus one for the discard plus one for the bonus. So, so three total. Three. Plus I get a battery now. That's so nice. It's so nice to draw these cards. Yeah. Uh, then uh, I'm going to be activating Donatello, who is uh, at least a three, which I do have. So I'm going to get two batteries and a card. And a card. Now I have cards. Oh, my goodness. You are cards. robot card rich. I, I need these to are score. Great, because these are also resources. To score points also in this game. spend these as resources. They, these are resources, yeah. That's that's kind of what I was hoping to, to get with these. Nice. And I believe that's it, yeah. because nobody chose fabricate or recycle, and there are no cubes that's on that. either. So, so that is the end of the round. Halfway mark. Yeah. And since I upgraded Florence, I can activate both of these robots. Ooh. Two different robots, which is going to get me two batteries. So one, two. And ooh, two points or a sensor. Two oh. points. Well, points, hold on. points, points. Yeah, let's go with two points. <laughs> yeah, two you know, points we're like uh, halfway through the game. I have one, you have nine. <laughs> as well. <laughs> I'm grinding for this. You're getting your own card out of that thing. So, I mean, pretty nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Not going to lie. All right. All right. That's the end of the round. Let's clear these off. We are going to be able to uh, shuffle our cards now. Mm -hmm. So we're moving across this threshold here. That's a nice little reminder that tells you, hey, shuffle your energy cards. Yeah, so we get all these back. Yeah. And so then we're going to get a new set. All right, all right, I am fully shuffled. Same. So now we are going to get three class cards. Yep. And from those three, we choose one. Right. So this is our final opportunity to just get them from the game. Otherwise, you have to gain inspiration in order to gain more. Mm -hmm. It's right. not super ideal, but I think I'm going to go with this one. I have to go with this one. The <laughs> other two I can't work on. Yeah. have been made. And my class card is differential equations. So this is going to score me for having robot cards that give uh, between three or four victory oh, points. Wow. So I only have one robot card that qualifies right now, and it's Brinner. That would have been a um, fantastic one for me. I have three, four, three, three. <gasps> that would have given you a C. Yeah. Well. <laughs> right away. Dang it. It ended in my hands. Uh, I have physics here. This I don't I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but it's basically by the end of the game, have at least six, nine, 12, or 15 gears. Oh, okay. The way I see it is I have gears here, here, and technically here if I can upgrade that. So 
We'll see how I do with so it. So you have to yeah. accrue them and not spend them, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. All right. We are now going into round five, but we need to oh, reset yeah. the AI's hand. All right, our AR cards are going to be placed like this. Oh, please. And what do we have? Design and assemble. They're not choosing design. They're not designing. Oh, no. Were you planning on them doing it? Well, design is kind of my my heavily upgraded area. By yeah. the way, since you're a yo-yo and you upgraded your... Ah, uh, uh, yes. Or have you upgraded? Uh, I I have, I'm have i eligible to do this. Oh, I, you I haven't, haven't done, done it yet. yet. Yeah. Okay, well, go ahead and set that aside as a reminder. Oh, okay. uh, the game comes with several tokens, depending on the inventor that you're playing as, to sort of remind you of your abilities. Yeah, so once I eventually do this, uh, then every time I upgrade, yeah. I get this benefit here. Right. All right, so let's go ahead and set up for round five. We have two right. new energy cards, Four freshly shuffled deck, and the AI needs their one energy and two energy cubes here. How many do you get? Uh, let's see, I get uh, three total. So here's your one and two. Okay. And then I get one. So we're, there's gonna be a lot of energy, a lot of energy What's placed energy onto the board uh, this round. Yeesh. Let's go ahead and select our phases. Right. All right, ready? Yes. One, two, three. Recycle upgrade. Recycle and upgrade. Upgrade and design. Ooh, okay, so upgrade. So, These are gonna go there. This, oh, this is gonna is go great. into recycle. Please don't be recycle. Please don't be recycle. Please. <laughs> Boom. Upgrade. What? I didn't have to choose upgrade. Uh, me either. That is so disappointing oh. because I wanted to assemble. I knew they weren't going to, but I was hoping oh. that you would. My upgrade's eight now. Uh, I'm going to end the game with no, <laughs> no robots. I need green card robots. Okay. Shall we get started? Uh, sure. Let's go. Let's into the upgrade. Upgrade. So, three, four, five, six, seven. That's nice, at least. And... Uh, this is, I have three, oh, this is not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my upgrade tokens here. So I only have four, <laughs> I have four resources. Mm -hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend one battery okay. to turn that into eight. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Cause it's four plus three plus the, the battery, that's eight. And then I'm gonna do two upgrades. Okay, so for a total of uh, five resources. Five total. resources, yeah. yeah. Just like last time. Right. So first I'll do the, the seven. Okay. So this goes down eight minus seven. This goes down to <laughs> one. Yeah, one. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so it's been one resource and it's going to be the program. Now I think I'm just going to do this so that I can gain inspiration and gain two resources. Now the pink token is not really going to go anywhere. I just need it basically to upgrade my, my card okay. or to be able to score for my class card. So I've upgraded three pink tokens total which brings me to a C. And for my inspiration bonus, I'm gonna gain two resources, which I think will just be gears. So I'll do that. Okay. And then for my last energy, I have to spend four resources. So I'm gonna spend, whoa, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna spend three sensors because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to activate design anyway. So three sensors and one gear. Okay. So that's for the four uh, resources there. And then I can upgrade. You know what? I'm gonna take back uh, one of the one of the gears, okay. and instead I'm going to spend a card. Okay. So I have to remember that you can spend cards as a resource when upgrading. Sure. I think I need one of the orange upgrade tokens, so I'm gonna remove this because I'll be able to uh, activate design anyway, and I will place it directly onto my thermodynamics mm. class card for extra credit. So right now, this is scoring me the B level. If I'm able to remove the last pink token, then I'll be able to get the full 14 points. So that is the goal. I think you're going to be able to do it. That's the goal. Something's telling me you'll do it. <laughs> we shall see. Yeah. So that's it for upgrading. Now it's okay, to you. For you. So I have a total of uh, four plus four cubes. It's eight. Yeah. I think I want to spend uh, two batteries to get me to 10. Ooh. So so that way I, I can spend a total of four resources to okay. take out two. I definitely want to activate this one as my very first one so that on my subsequent one, I get uh, two points and a battery. Yeah, that's nice. Here, mm -hmm. you can borrow my, my arrow. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so I have 10 now. Um, and so the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to ditch a card. Okay. That ditch card oops, is going to be uh, representative of uh, unlocking this. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and take, what do I need here, blue and green? So you're doing the seven? I'm doing the seven, yeah. You want to use this? Yeah, so let's get to down. keep track of your energy. I have three left. Okay. So let's go ahead and unlock this pink. I'll just put it right on top of Yo-Yo uh, right there. Nice. And so now this token does come into play. So each time you upgrade, you'll get a battery mm -hmm. and... 
two yeah. points. So I just did the seven, and then yeah. for the other three right here, which is going to be the arrow goes bye bye. Thank you. I have to get rid of three resources, so we're going to go one. I don't really want to get rid of these gears right now because that's one of my uh, end game uh, goals here. Oh yeah. One. Two, three. Ah, Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. Cards. Oh. Interesting. Actually, one. I'll go two. Okay. And duct then the duct tape. tape three. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't That's why feel... it's there. The duct tape will not be able to score for your class cards. You, you, you might cannot well spend it. use duct tape for this. Yeah. yeah. So then uh, now I'm gonna go ahead, knowing that I'm gonna have recycle at four, five. Uh huh. And I would probably want walkie to do its thing. Oh, I took this off earlier. I, I didn't get the benefits of this. Oh. Yeah. When was that? When I just unlocked for Yo-Yo. Oh, so, yeah. What would you like? Uh, Class I, cards, two uh, resources, or four I think batteries. I'm gonna take two resources. One, two. Nice. Sorry. Uh, so that was going back to the first upgrade. To the first upgrade. Yeah. Okay. So now, now you're. Your now second I'm gonna upgrade. do the second one, and um, so we are gonna be doing this action here. Is that right? Uh, let's go ahead and pull this off, and then I'm gonna pluck this over here. So because that is done. Um, I, I do get an upgrade, so I get a battery, uh -huh. and then I get two points. Okay. So there we go, yo-yo. And then now, uh, when we do the recycle, I will get a resource of my choice. Very good. That is it. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's go ahead and move on to assemble, which we're skipping. Yep. And we're going to go straight to design. So I think I'm the only one doing this phase. Uh, you are the only one, yep. I have three. Three total energy. I'm going to spend all of my batteries to make this into a seven, mm -hmm. because I do get some batteries back. Oh. So spending that all the way down. So starting up here, I get a program and a battery. Here, I can flush my cards. Oh my goodness, do I do it? I'm gonna discard one card okay. and be able to draw two plus one, so three, two and three. I gain another battery. And then down here for the seven energy, it's gonna be three points now. So now I'm at 10 and there's a times 10 victory point here. So that was one. Uh, two, three. Yep. So nine went points. to twelve. Yeah, twelve total. Um, and then I'm going to activate beaker <laughs> yep. for two sensors. So that's me for design. Okay. Uh, I'm not eligible for design. Okay. So then we're gonna move straight to recycle. Yeah. Nobody's and that's fabricating. All you. Recycle. Yeah. Uh, you get one recycle. Huh? Oh, I do. You get one recycle. <gasps> I get one recycle. Get that's one. just gonna be this. Which is great. Two batteries. Two batteries, two batteries are. That's important. fantastic. Batteries are so so useful. Super useful. Okay. Dang. Okay, so four, five, uh, I think I will spend, I'm gonna spend the two batteries uh, so I can get to the seven here. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, so now I'm gonna get uh, two batteries back. One, two. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna spend a battery to get a duct tape and then a resource of my choice. I'll just make it a duct, no, I can't make it a duct tape. I'll make it a microchip knowing that I have to spend one to get these things out down here. Okay. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to get a victory point, which is much needed to your 12 points. Uh, and then here, because I do have at least four, uh -huh. I'm going to get two more duct tape, one, two. And then because I have at least six, which we did by spending the battery, yeah. I'm going to get to spend my chip uh -huh. to get two programs and two more, one, two. Two gears. gears. Wow. Look, I have wow. a D in gears. You have a D. <laughs> oh, that boy. That could be a C if you put a green upgrade I'm token I'm going to try it. to do that because yeah. I need to find points Yeah. badly. Yeah. Very good. Okay. All right. That is it. Mm -hmm. End of the round. So, okay. Florence, I activated Beaker which means I can activate these two. I need to build more robots is what I need. But I'm going to gain uh, two batteries, and I'm going to take the two points. Yeah, two I'm points just going to keep it's, going it's with that. Good. It's too good. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's prepare for the next round. So these are going to go out. These were nice, having this many energy cubes this round. I don't think we're going to get uh, as lucky. More energy coming in. Forward. Well, Let's see what we got we'll here. We'll see. All right. Well, we're moving into the round six. That's right. Oh, this is my bad one. The like one, two. One? Yeah, it happened last time like this. Well, look at this, Naveen. Okay. You could get lucky. I got to guess what you're going to do. <laughs> if you guess what I'm going to do <sighs> or what they're going to do, they're not going to do upgrade, assemble, or design. So they're fabricating so or recycling. fabricating or recycling. And you seem to love recycling. So there's a 50-50 I mean, chance there. I do. So I'm going to go ahead and place my energy cubes here, by the way, okay. as a reminder. And then let's go ahead and select our phase cards. Ooh. All right, ready? I am ready. One, two, three. Upgrade and assemble. Upgrade and design. Oh, you're upgrading too. I guess that yeah. makes sense because you just up upgraded your your inventory. Yo yo, yeah. Upgrade yeah. and assemble. Let's see, please. What do you want? Recycle. Uh, recycle or either one will work. I really want fabricate. Recycle. Please, recycle. please, 
please. Recycle. Oh. Yeah, recycle's better That's for me. That's a bummer. Oh. oh, well. <laughs> what can you do? Okay. Actually, fabricate would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> fabricate would have been fantastic. Yeah. Okay, anywho, let's go ahead and go into upgrades. So okay. I have four, five, six. Well, all right, I'm going to go ahead and spend a battery to make that into seven. Okay. Just so I only have to spend one resource, and I'm going to spend a card. Okay. So I'm going to spend this Off it goes. to do the one upgrade. Okay. I'm thinking, oh, do I do this now? I guess I have until I have two more rounds to do this final upgrade here. Or you know what? I'm going to do the final upgrade now. Okay. Because I might as well, or, oh my gosh, the decisions are so hard right now. <laughs> if I upgrade this, I get an extra battery going into recycle, and that's going to trigger now. Or I could upgrade that, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll just do it. I'm going to do the final upgrade so I don't have to worry about it. So those are all four of my uh, pink tokens, which means this is going to score the 14 points at the end since I have the extra credit. Okay, that is it. Very good. Uh, phew, man. Okay, so I have one plus uh, two times two, so I have five. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to just keep it at the five so that I can do uh, this one here. Okay. So uh, it is going to be two resources. Yeah. I'm just going to do my two purple resources, my programs. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to do an upgrade with yo-yo, uh, so I do get uh, two points and a battery. So I'm going to get a battery and two points. And then which upgrade? Okay, I think I'm going to want to get these going because no other robot has open space. So let's just go ahead and let's make... Oh, what's, what's <laughs> my assemble value? One, two. The decisions two. are crunchy right now because we're in the latter my decisions. Latter, uh, quarter of the game. Yeah, let's do assemble. So I'm going to take this one off of here. Okay. So now, because going into assemble, I'll have one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put this one on. I don't have to commit that there right now. You can put it in your the, inventory. At the very end of the game, yeah. I can I can just slot that in there. That's an anytime thing. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do that. Um yeah, that's, that's going to be the only uh, uh, upgrade that I want to do. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to assemble. All right, I have three, four, five, which is all I need <laughs> to put into play the only card that I can, okay. which is Hollywood. <laughs> hey, so we have coffee, we have uh, cereal, and now we have popcorn. So Ooh. Hollywood over here is going to cost me one sensor okay. because it is at the five energy column. Now, Hollywood is my third robot to go in this row. I'm fully invested in Fabricate. I, I'm not even looking at Recycle, clearly. Mm -hmm. But that also means I need to spend two resources, Additional resources. to do this. Yeah. So I'm going to spend one card okay. and one gear. So those are the two, two. additional resources uh, for that. All right. And I believe that's it for my assemble. OK, so my assemble is going to be one, two, three, four. Like I said, I will spend a battery to make it a five so that I can put chill out there. Chill. It's an ice cream machine. Oh, ice cream. It's another one of those three pointers, the ones that I could have really used that, that card that you I'm not putting there. any of those into play. <laughs> so this one so. is going to cost me uh, two sensors. Now, I don't have any sensors, so I'm going to have to use duct tape to represent that. So it's going to be five down to three. Okay. Plus, I do have to get rid of another uh, <laughs> resource. It's unfortunate that it's going to be duct tape. Oh, not going to use your card? No, because I have design and I want to toss my, my card so I can gain more, more? cards. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. All right. Yeah. Well, that's it for assemble. So let's move on to design. That's just you. Just me. Okay. So my design value is just uh, one, two. Yeah. I think I'm going to spend it to go three, four, so that I can get access to this car, uh, this action here. Okay. So um, I'm going to get my program. Yep. And battery for having that bonus right there. Uh -huh. And I'm going to go into this four. So I'm going to ditch this card out. Okay. So then I'm going to draw one plus one for the ditch yep. plus one for the benefit. So three total. So three total. Please be something good. <laughs> And Please. you gain a battery. I do gain a battery. OK, so then I'm going to get my battery back. And then uh, I also, because this Donatello is upgraded, I'm yep. going to get another card and then two more two batteries. batteries. One, two. That's really nice. Your design uh, your design phase is, is a lot of bang for your buck for oh, one robot. Yeah, I'm trying to make it work. All right, skipping fabricate, going on to recycle. Okay. So recycle for me is only at a value of two. Um, I am in deep need of resources. So I think I am going to increase, do I increase it all the way, all the way to seven? That's the question. That seems a bit excessive. <laughs> I'm just going to spend two. So on two and go to this threshold. So that's going to get me, or you know what? I am going to do it. I'm going to go all the way to seven. Okay. So let's, let's see. It was at five. So I need to spend all of it mm -hmm. there because I'm going to get the batteries back. 
So the top row is two plus one, so three batteries. Then I can spend a battery to gain a duct tape, which I haven't had all game. So there we go. You got one. And then I get a point. Yeah, that's So good there's too. that. Let's see if that was worth it. <laughs> now it's on to you. Okay, so I have uh, two. Mm -hmm. Man, do I spend all of this down to get to six so I can get access to this action? I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spend all of these down so I have a total of six value. Oh, so okay. I'll just mark this uh, here with your arrow. Okay. Uh, six <laughs> value, so um, I'm gonna get two battery back, uh -huh. one, two. I'm gonna spend one battery for a duct tape and a resource of my choice, knowing that I'm gonna feed into this one here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take a microchip, which is gonna go out soon. Uh, too bad I couldn't get to seven. Um, then we're gonna go here and get two more duct tape, mm -hmm. one, two. And then we go into Wakey Wakey. I'm gonna spend that <laughs> microchip to get two programs, one, two, and then one, two. I need to keep, uh, you have so I many need to resources. get more of those. I can't spend them because yeah. this wants me to not spend them. So You're one away from a C. I'm one away from a C, and then if I can get um, the, extra credit. Uh, the extra credit, then I mean, that's a B. pretty good. You're scoring on, on both of your cards. I oh, don't have... Speaking of which, I, a minimum there. when I put chill in play, yeah. that is a fifth uh, one value in there. So I am one away from uh, getting my A. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's it, right? Mm -hmm. That's that? All right, yep. we're at the end of the round. So I get to activate two of my robots. Who are they going to be? What do I need now? Two points and two points? I... Or no, two points and one point? Yeah, this is one point. Yeah. So Hollywood is either one or two points, but I did not upgrade Hollywood yet. But the thing is, I don't need sensors for the only other robot card I have in my hand. <laughs> so I think instead of the one point on Hollywood, I'm going to forgo that to gain two batteries okay. because I did spend a lot of my batteries. Yeah. So I'm going to go with two batteries mm -hmm. with Java, and then Brinner is going to get me two points. Okay. So... That's that. All right, let's go ahead and clean this up. Okay. We are going into the penultimate round. Ah, boy. Oh, my goodness. I know. There's not that much time left. Two last rounds. You have to shuffle these. What are we going to do? AI. Oh, I'm making a big mess over uh -oh. here. Like, uh oh. I can't pick up anything. <laughs> there we go. Final two rounds. Um, I don't have too many robots to my name, and no. I've been searching for the green robots, but I haven't been able to draw them. Okay. Which means I'm kind of stuck. Uh, with the ones that I have, we'll see if they I can draw more. I guess. Fabricate and recycle are showing. That's that's my. Oh no. that's, that's my thing. Me too. I guess that's <sighs> fair, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All Dang. right, let's go ahead. We're gonna go into the seventh round. Uh, let's gain some energy cubes right. here, and then and let's go ahead and select our face. Oh yes, uh, that's two. right. What do we have here? Uh, oh, I get no. one cube for me. Oh, you have the situation. This right is there. bad. Yeah. I'm glad I took batteries. Here's one yeah, cube for you. Idea. I don't, so this is gonna be, so not fabricate or recycle. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. All right, ready? Uh, yes. Okay, mine are virtually the same. Okay. One, two, three. Up. Design and Ooh, fabricate. Fabricate and upgrade. I needed to choose it because. Oh, you're designing. Oh, you're gonna do upgrade? I am. Oh my goodness, I didn't factor so, that in. This, well, it's just a single. Well, let's see what they're doing. Oh, they're upgrading. Oh, okay. it's a double. That's not Thank bad. you. <laughs> I'm glad they're doing that because uh, I I didn't want to have to spend a battery. <laughs> well, that changes everything. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and, and start, shall we? Sure. So we're gonna go into upgrade. I only have two, two total energy. Yeah, are you willing to spend all your resources? Well, I could spend one battery mm. to spend three resources. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Okay. So I'm gonna spend one battery. So that brings me to three. Okay. I have to spend three resources. So I definitely want to hold on to my duct tape. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm also holding onto the card in my hand just in case I can put it into play. Um, and with that, I'm going to, I might as well upgrade this. Oh, or this, that'll get me two more points. Oh no, I'm not gonna have much energy. <laughs> this is the, <laughs> this is the boo-boo draw and we keep drawing them at the same time. That's what's funny about it. Mm. Uh, nobody put energy cubes there. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> that makes the decision easy, actually. Okay. Um, oh no, I'm short one battery. So mm. I can't even do either of these two because this battery I could not use for this phase. No. Yeah, you have to declare. So uh, this is going to be awful. Mm. <laughs> but since this is the second to last round, I think I'm just going to do this last upgrade token. Okay. Just so I can take four batteries from the inspiration that nothing needs this green token. That's the part that's really hurting my feelings <laughs> right now. Yeah. So four batteries, this will go all the way up to seven. 
so that at least I can take it all the way to seven when I go into design yeah. to get those three points and then not take it to seven when I go to fabricate. Ah, the math. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, well, I'm glad they played upgrade because it's three, four, five. So that mm -hmm. means I get to go here and I will spend my two purple card, or two purple, one, two, mm -hmm. to go ahead and uh, upgrade. I think I have to do this green one and I know I'm going to want to put it here eventually. So I'm just going to keep it off to the side. It's, it's, not, it's not officially, you know, there. Yeah. I just need to know that these two are for these potentially. Yeah, that's uh, right. So the benefit I'm going to take is I'm going to take more gears. One, two. So that's nice. that's the uh, inspiration I've taken. So now I'm a C student uh -huh. with green potentially coming here. And if I can get two more uh, gears and not spend them, then I can actually get to the 15, which is 13 points. Yeah, that's so nice. Got to keep pushing. Gosh, I'm so sad that I, I used all of these. I wanted to get another class card. You have one left. You can use that for a class card. Yeah, that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Did you get your battery and two points? I did not. Thank you. That is very important. One, one, two. Thank you. You yeah. even have a reminder token. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it for upgrading, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody's assembling. Let's move on to design. Yeah, so which I'm not doing. I only have two energy here, which was awful. So I'm going to just spend this down to two. So I'm spending five batteries to bring that to seven. Okay. Just so I can get the three points, really. I mean, it's so good. It is. I, I really needed to be able to flush my hand, too. So I get a program. Uh, one, two batteries, and then do I discard this? I guess not. I'm going to hold on to this card in my hand, and I'm just going to draw uh, two cards. Plus one extra, right? No, it's oh, no, oh, because they did discard. not discard yeah. anything. I draw one that's and then right. additional one. Yeah. And then I get the three points. So one, two, three. Yikes. So that's just another... 10 here, right? Make it 20. I can remove that. 20 to, to um, eight. And then I get the two, the two sensors, sensors mm -hmm. for beaker. Okay. That's me. Are you doing? I'm not designing, not unfortunately. Designing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go into fabricate. And I get the two, just two, two, <laughs> two three. Yeah. Uh, oh, I could spend this down mm -hmm. to make it seven. That'll net me two points, but I'll be out batteries. But I guess this gets me batteries. Um, how did that happen? I didn't calculate mm. that. Let's just do it. So I'm going to spend this all the way down. So I can make it seven. And I'm going to start by, I'm going to take two chips, two chips and a gear. So there's that. And then I get a point. Uh, so I'm back on here. This is going to gain me two batteries. I gain uh, two points. Uh oh, my inventory is not looking good right now. Okay. One, two. Let's make sure we separate that. Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then over here, I just get one because I did not upgrade yeah. Hollywood. Points, 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 points everywhere. So uh, the thing is, sheesh. though, I probably didn't do this right because uh -huh. I will not be able to activate my inventor ability at the end of the round because I've I've tapped all my robots. Yeah, that works pretty good for you, though. All right, um, so it's back to you. Oh, fabricate with two. I was really hoping a cube would show up. I don't know why I thought I no cube was ever going to show up because I could have easily seen that you had the uh, equals two equals two. Yeah. So you were just counting on them, basically. Which I know it wasn't. So yeah. I don't know what I was doing. I should have played recycle. <laughs> it's such a mind game. Oops. I oh need my goodness, this too. energy. I know. You know what? Before you take your turn, do you mind if I switch this? I took two chips and a gear. Okay. I actually want to take two gears and one chip instead. So you're going to invert them? So I'm going to invert them, yeah. Okay. All right. That's important. That's we only have one last round. Huh? <laughs> Make your resources count. Oh, man. I got this two here. I, I could spend the two battery to get to this four and, and get all these things, but mm. that would leave me with zero batteries going into the last round. I don't think I want to do that. So I'm just going to literally take... One single gear to one get gear? me at 11. That is not the way you want to take one of your actions in this game. <sighs> Sometimes those are the kinds of turns that you have I to should, take. Yeah, I, I shouldn't guess. have played Fabricate knowing that the AI was not going to play it. And then if you played Fabricate, you yeah. still wouldn't add any cubes there. So that was just a bonehead move. But That was tough. We shall it's see. Tough. It's tough at the very end of the game here. Yep. All right. So nobody is doing recycle, right? Nope. So we're at the end of the round. And again, I've tapped all my robots, which means I don't get to activate my ability. Right. Not very uh, inventor-like no. of me. We bring our cards back. Yes. Bring our cards back. We are going into the final Eighth round. round. All right. These oh are my the gosh. last two. This is the scary part. You know, you start the game thinking, I have all this time. I don't think and I have then a one. You run out of time. Yeah. I don't oh. think I have my one. Uh, three, three. Okay. okay. I have my one. You have your one. No. No. This is not the time. 
What is that going to be? It's either assemble or um, oh design. Gosh. I should have known. I assemble should have known that this is my one design. At the very end of the game. Wow. Oh, this is my. This is an eleven. I that is rough. That. That's a ten plus one. <laughs> yeah, can't mess that up. And here are your two cubes. Yep. Here so for the final time, oh, what you select gonna, your phases. What are you gonna do? The final phase selection is rough because mm -hmm. of the AI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Specifically in a two-player game, yeah. it's that 50-50 chance. Uh, this is this feels like uh, the worst time to take a risk, right? Yeah. But I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ready? Yes. One, okay. two, three. Upgrade and design. Fabricate and assemble. Oh, so I'm my... taking a huge risk here. Upgrade. Huge risk. You're assembling. So this is gonna go to fabricate. Okay. It's really going to depend on what this is. The 50 50 chance. Please be assemble. Please be assemble. Yes. Nice. I wanted yes. to assemble. So, I yes. mean, not as excited as you are. Because I don't think I would have been off. able to do this. <laughs> this would have been a waste. Oh. Okay. Had I not just oh, gone I for see it. it. As a one. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whew. Whew. All right. Okay. Are we, sorry. I need more. to turn this right side up. <laughs> okay. the face facing. Okay. All right. Are we ready to do this? I, I guess so, yeah. Final round. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, uh, You're the only, only one upgrading. Because Yo-Yo Ma, or Yo-Yo, uh -huh. just Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo, just Yo-Yo. <laughs> this is not, um, not, no relation. No relation is uh, going to get me some points if I do this. I hope I got all the points when I did them. But uh, I am going to go ahead and upgrade for five. So it's three, four, five. It's going to cost me two resources. We're going to go one, two, like okay. that. Uh, just because I'm not too sure what's going to happen with this. I really want to get there. Okay. So that is going to get me to upgrade. Knowing that Fabricate is not going to happen. Oh, no, Fabricate is going to happen. Oh, wait. Oh, you placed cubes here. Mm -hmm. So I can upgrade as well. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were passing on it. Go go ahead and do yours okay, first. Okay, sure. So Fabricate, Assemble, Upgrade, and Design is for me. So I there's no point in doing anything with Recycle, which I don't think I can. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this, and I'm going to get three new cards. I'm upgrading this, so oh. I'm going I'm to get a battery and two points, so I'm at 10 now. You're gaining inspiration. I'm going to gain some inspiration. Good Let's luck. see if there's anything good that I can oh, weasel my I way into that. of three. Uh, good job. Thanks. I really do wish I did that, because I feel like <laughs> you could get a lot of points that way, and I'm not going to score my second yeah. class card. So. Possibly, yeah. All right, so I'm going to keep this one and get rid of these two. This one is civil engineering, so we want to build columns. So... Uh, basically, uh, the number of columns mm -hmm. of uh, robots that are stuffed into them, you're going to get points. So oh, okay. I'm going to take this one. And right now, I am actively scoring a D mark in school right now. I have a D, but I might be able to... Might. To, might? I might be able to get that to be a little bit better than that. Okay. Uh, so I got my battery. Uh, I got my two victory points. And I got my inspiration. All right. So then it's to me. Mm -hmm. And I have two total energy for upgrade. I'm going to spend one battery to turn that into a three. Okay. And so that way I can spend three resources to upgrade one thing. Now I'm going to activate Fabricate. So that gets me a battery. That gets me two more points. If I use this, I would put that on there for one more point. Okay. I mean, I think I'll do this one, right? So I don't think I spent the three resources yet though. I'm gonna spend these two cards. Okay. So those go out as well as, um, I guess let's just do a program. Sure. There you go. Okay. Okay, so those are the three resources, and then I guess I'll just remove this because I really don't... <laughs> oh, gosh, this, the decisions are hard. If I do this, that'll get me two points because even if you don't meet the minimum criteria, it'll bump you up to a D. You can be a D student. Which is technically the same thing as uh, doing this, but the difference is I don't have to spend a battery, I guess. Or I mean, it gains me a battery, so I'll just do that. Okay. Okay, I upgraded that spot and I placed it on here, so I'm getting at least two points. Okay. Okay, so that's it for upgrade. Let's move on to assemble. All right. Now, I have one, two, three, and... Let's see, you have uh, one, oh. two, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, I was like, yeah. wait, yeah. were they not supposed to spend that battery? No, yeah. no, no, they're, right. they're each worth two, two, two energy. Thank yep. you so much. Uh -huh. Okay, total of five energy. So I'm going to put this, this uh, quick sort into play. Oh, how useful. They sort the, the toys. Mm. <laughs> so this is going to cost me three gears because okay. of the five columns. So this is two oh, gears. That's why you did the invert. And one duct tape. Yeah, that's uh, why I inverted it last ago. round. Yeah. Uh, this is worth six points. Uh, and this is my, is really my first <laughs> green 
row robots. I don't have to spend any additional resources for that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade them right away so that I can spend a chip for the three points later. Okay. All right, that's it. I don't think you'll... Oh, because you will be able to Florence. Because of Florence. Man, that's a nine-point card right there. This one? Uh, yeah, <laughs> six plus the, what you're about to do with it. Yeah, it came a little bit er, uh, late, I suppose, but it's a nice card. Late. Quick sort, very useful robot as well. So. Super <laughs> useful. Sheesh. All right, so assemble uh, one, two, because of my upgrade here, three, four. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to make it five, six. So I have a total of six, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put in Blockbuster. Oh. We have a movie uh, a robot movie here. Robot? It's going to cost me three sensors, of which I have none. So it's going to be four. Uh, so it's one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to put them into this column because, remember, I have civil engineering, which I'm just going to go ahead and move that up right now. Nice. So I have two of those. Uh, I'm going to drop this in here. And look what's nice about it is uh, in design, mm -hmm. I can turn them into gear symbols, which I need for physics. Yeah. So uh, in order to do that, though, I do have to spend a resource. So I'm just going to spend a card okay. to represent that resource. And now that is in play. That looks really nice. Nice and neat. Even, Two full yeah. columns, mm -hmm. right? All right, that is it for assemble. You get to do design. I design. So, okay, what's my total? Three. I'm going to spend this uh, to make it four so that I can do at least up to this point. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get myself a uh, program. I'm going to get a battery. And then uh, cards are also uh, things at the end of the game, right? Yeah, so you, you add, add them all up. All, but, yeah, everything. So I'm just going to just grab... One, two, three cards, uh, which I'm going to be at five, I think. <laughs> One, two, three. Did you discard a card? Uh, no, I'm not going to discard. Do I need to discard a card? For three. Uh-huh. I just need two cards. Oh, Because if cards. I discard one, I'm not going to be able to okay, put so another one in play. Okay, so you're just drawing two. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I get a battery here. I think I was so used to drawing three earlier that I said three. Yeah, so there three was a nice number. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, and then now we are going to move on to Donatello. I am going to ditch a card to okay. get two batteries. So we're going to go up one, two. Wait, Donatello? Oh, sorry, not ditch a card. I just uh, gain a card. You gain a card. Have batteries. you been doing that? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I think my brain is mushed right now. <laughs> so there we go. So I should be at a... Did you gain? Did you give me a card? I just card? handed you one okay. right now. And I think I'm going to be one gear short of being able to score two points here. Oh. Because the benefit here is I gain two mm -hmm. uh, if I don't use the upgrade, but I only gain one and two points if mm -hmm. I do upgrade. But the differential between 9 and 13 is 4 points, so I'd rather right. get the 4 points than the 2 points. So yeah. uh, I will not be upgrading Blockbuster, but I will spend a card. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and spend a card to gain a 2 gear symbol. So 12, 13, so I am up here. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and then uh, that is going to be it for design for me. Very good. So then we move into Fabricate, and I think this is the final phase that we're going to be playing this game because nobody chose Recycle. Mm -hmm. So I have four, five, six, and I'm going to spend this for seven. Okay. So then um, the resources right now don't really matter anymore, I guess. Oh, actually. You get three to one. It does for my... Yeah. For my robots because i need one chip oh i do have a chip okay so then it doesn't really matter i'm just gonna take uh two or let's just do this in order <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i'm frozen one chip one battery um another or two sensors boom there you go okay um a point and then let's go down the line two batteries um Oof. two points and then hollywood is just one point and that is I it for some fabricate. Point generating stuff, man. So I tapped these three robots. I'll be using these two at the end of the round. Okay. So for you? Uh, yeah, fabricate. I'm gonna go into this uh, section here with, I believe, what is it? One. Hmm? Do I have one? Is that what it is? One. Yeah. You can spend up to four. I think I have to spend in order to get to uh, these gear symbols. So I'm gonna spend three. Three. Yeah. Which is a point. <laughs> so there goes that but i am going to get two of these back so i'm going to get one two because i'm going to go that that and then i'll take a chip why not okay and then um i'm not going to be able to ooh. you can do this one no if i do then i spend the gear to get two and you hit 15 exactly i'm at 15 exactly yeah which is exactly so, where i need to be here so probably not then right because it's just going to get you two duct tape anyway like what's the is. i could just do the extra credit though why don't i just do extra credit oh oh you went for 15. Yeah, I should just get the extra credit. Hold on, I'm gonna do this real quick. Let's not let's not mess this up. So I'm gonna go. Oh no! But if I do that, 
Ah, oh, so Why? Because okay. yeah, you so need to use two. I need to use two, <laughs> yeah. You would have to put one extra credit there and then one on here. Yeah. To be able to do the bottom to uh, get the upgraded three points. But action. I need this to go up to here, so. Three, yeah, four points is better than three. I need, a, I need an extra one, yeah. Yeah. I need one more upgrade. Pain, yeah, so that'll be that. Okay. I think I, think I did everything. All right, then. Yeah. That is it. That is the end of the round. So I'm going to activate my two robots for the final time. They're going to be Beaker for two sensors and Quick Sort. I'm going to spend one chip, and that gets mm. me three points. Three so one, two, right? Three. Mm -hmm. and that's it. That's an interesting way to do that. But yeah, I, <laughs> I always it. get I kind of yeah. weird when it comes to the, the point tokens on the inventory. Carrying okay. the one. Anywho, yeah. that is the end of the game. So we really don't have anything much to do besides just going to final scoring, I right? I have a few things to do so, oh, so that please. I don't make boo-boos here. So we're going to one, two, and three. There we go. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go into final scoring, we are back from the future yeah. to remind you that had we had our free upgrades, we probably would have had more robots on our player mat. And we obviously probably would have scored more points because of this, so just be aware of that during this section. And again, don't forget to take your free upgrade when setting up for the game, whenever you decide to play it. All right, let's go ahead and see how the playthrough ends. Let's go ahead and go into final scoring. We have a score sheet to make it easy. All right, first things first, we are going to score the base number of points that the robot cards provide. Mm -hmm. So, whoa, you have six? I do. I, have I think five. You, I think you score more though. Okay, let's yeah. see. One, two, these three robots are six points each. 18. So that's 18. And then these two together are eight. So 18 plus eight? 26. 26. Okay, and you? Uh, so we'll go, from, we have seven plus uh, six, that's 13, plus another seven. So 20? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next thing, we are going to score the class cards. This is where you shine. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you now, this one I was able to upgrade, but it basically just gives me a D because I did not hit three uh, robots mm -hmm. that are worth three to four points. I only have one. Yep. So that's going to be two points. And then this one, my thermodynamics, I was able to do all four of the pink token upgrades. Mm -hmm. So I got a B with the extra credit gave me an A. So 14 plus two is 16 points. Very good. Okay, I think I realized there was actually a way to score the three points here. Uh, going back to my fabricate action, because I had four, <laughs> I could have just used my yo-yo ability to plop this down onto this slot here because I could act as anything as wild. Mm -hmm. And because I have one duct tape, I could represent it as the gear that I was so scared to lose. Mm. So I would just use it okay. to then gain it back and three more points. Okay. So that's 13. So you'll do that. Because instead. I don't need I don't need extra credit here because I already have 15 right. on this one right here. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Sure. All right. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> um, I, my brain was totally mush about that. I forgot yo-yo. That's your ability. You made it work. I made it work. Okay, so I did need the extra credit here. So because I have uh, five robots, one, two, three, four, five robots that have a value one energy cost uh -huh. and sustainable energy. Right. I got to the five plus the extra credit gets me to the six. So that's 13 there. Okay. Um, I do have 15 gears, which you is exactly it. what I showed. So that's 13. And then here I needed the civil engineering, which is basically have columns of robots. So I have two columns uh, completed. So I'm going to get up to a B with the extra credit. Nice. So a total of... That's, wow, it's 36? 36, 36, 36 points? points? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I needed that. That's danger. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> 36. All right. Well, good job there. Thanks. Um, the next thing is just your points. So wherever you ended up on the track. Oh, I guess I had 31. Uh, so this yeah. is 30. Yeah, 31. And you? Uh, 13. So I think we did a little inverse. You got in game, I got end game. This is gonna be tight. Yeah, I think means. so. Yeah. I can't do the math <laughs> along the way, so we'll see what that yeah. means. Now we add up all of our resources. Okay. So that's literally everything. That's gonna be batteries, your regular resources, and any cards in your hand, as well as duct tape, of course, and okay. then you divide it by three. Okay. So I don't have any more cards in my hand. I basically have six uh, plus three is nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Uh, so ten that's three points? Three points, yeah. Okay. All right, so I have uh, four cards in hand. Mm -hmm. uh, five, six, seven, eight, plus 15. What is 15 plus eight? Whoa. 23? 23. 23. That's seven points. One card short wow. or one resource short. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, That's, anywho. How many points was that? Seven? Yeah, seven okay. points. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do some math, and then I will get back to you with our final scores. All right. The scores are in, and okay. you would not believe this, <laughs> but okay. it's me with 76 okay. to Naveen with 76. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a tie. No. 
It's a tie. I know what the tiebreaker is. What's a tiebreaker? The most value on your robots and yes. you had more. <laughs> Shit. The tiebreaker it goes to the player who who built the most valuable robot. Who had in this the most case, bang. it's going to be me. I wasn't going to say it, but since you brought it up, ah, um, I technically break the tie. She wins tiebreaker. But still, ah. the whole thing here is we are successful inventors. <laughs> that is one card or one resource away. It could have been anything. It. If I had we, 23, so divide by three. If yeah. I had 24, that's one extra point. Could well, have been anything. Who I probably knows? didn't pay for anything. Somebody somewhere. could have made you know, a mistake, I but didn't. this is the yeah. agreed upon score for today. Yep. <laughs> um, and of course, if we catch any mistakes, they'll be added as a pin comment down below, as mm -hmm. well as in the description. But there you go. That is uh, the final score today. Yeah, well done. You got Thank me. Thank you. You too. Nice. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> Anywho, that is Raising Robots. Now, uh, like we were mentioning earlier, there are a lot of different robot cards in the game. There's mm -hmm. also a mini expansion, the Pets expansion, Pets. if yep. you have the deluxe version. Again, this is a deluxe version of the game, so all of the uh, upgraded shits are all upgraded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you might not necessarily have that in the retail edition. Uh, also, the game comes with a slew of different inventors, right. and the inventors yeah. all have different asymmetric abilities as well as upgradable uh, abilities or benefits that you can sort of try each time you play the game. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That is Raising Robots. If you have any questions about anything you saw here, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.